subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Microsoft Azure Architect Technologies, Beta. This exam is for the candidates, who have skills, and abilities for designing, and implementing solutions running on Microsoft Azure, including aspects like compute, network, storage, and security. Knowledge required for the exam. Candidates applying for Microsoft AZ-303 exam should have First, advanced experience, and knowledge of IT operations. Second, high-level knowledge, and understanding in areas like networking, virtualization, identity, security, business continuity, disaster recovery, data platform, budgeting, and governance. However, candidates in this role should know how to manage decisions in each area, and affect an overall solution. Third, in addition, high-level knowledge, and understanding in areas like networking, virtualization, identity, security, business continuity, disaster recovery, data platform, budgeting, and governance. Now, we will discuss about the learning objectives. For AZ-303, Microsoft includes training resources, that provide a learning path to help you during the studying time. This exam validates candidates' ability in accomplishing the following technical tasks, 1. Implementing, and monitoring an Azure infrastructure. 2. Implementing management and security solutions, and solutions for apps. 3. Applying managing data platforms. Learning path. These learning paths include modules, that help candidates to enhance their skills, and knowledge. Some of the learning paths for AZ-303 by Microsoft are. First, architecting network infrastructure in Azure. Second, architecting storage infrastructure in Azure. Third, designing compute infrastructure in Azure. Fourth, architecting infrastructure operations in Azure. Fifth, architecting a data platform in Azure. Sixth, building message brokering and serverless applications in Azure. Seventh, architecting modern applications in Azure. Eighth, architecting API integration in Azure. Ninth, building migration business continuity, and disaster recovery in Azure. Now, we will talk about exam format. Details of the exam are as follows. Exam code is AZ-303. Number of questions range from 40 to 50. Exam type is beta. It costs $165. The language used is English. Exam scheduling. Candidates planning to take the AZ-303 exam can schedule their exam, by login into their Microsoft account, or create a new account then login. Let's, discuss about course structure. Number 1, Implement, and monitor an Azure infrastructure which comprises of 50 to 55% weightage in the exam. Number 2, Implement management, and security solutions which comprises of 25 to 30% weightage in the exam. Number 3, Implement solutions for apps which comprises of 10 to 15% weightage in the exam. Number 4, Implement, and manage data platforms which comprises of 10 to 15% weightage in the exam. Now, we will discuss about each domain in detail. Domain 1, Implement, and monitor an Azure infrastructure which comprises of 50 to 55% weightage in the exam. We can discuss this in 7 parts. First, Implementing Cloud Infrastructure Monitoring. It is divided into 8 sub-parts. Number 1 Monitoring Security. Number 2 Monitoring Performance. It is further divided into 5 parts. Configuring Diagnostic Settings on Resources. Creating a performance baseline for resources. Monitoring for unused resources. Monitoring performance. Visualizing diagnostics data using Azure. Number 3 Monitoring health, and availability. It is further divided into two parts. Monitoring networking. Observing service health. Number 4 Monitoring cost. It is further divided into two parts. Monitoring spend. Reporting on spend. Number 5. Configuring advanced logging. It is further divided into two parts. Implementing, and configuring Azure Monitor Insights, including App Insights, Networks, Containers. Configuring a Log Analytics Workspace. Number 6 Configuring Logging for Workloads. Number 7 Initiating Automated Responses by Using Action Groups. Number 8 Configuring, and Managing Advanced Alerts. It is further divided into two parts. Collecting alerts and metrics across multiple subscriptions. Viewing alerts in Azure Monitor Logs. Second, implementing storage accounts. It is divided into eight subparts. Selecting storage account options based on a use case. Configuring Azure files and blob storage. Configuring network access to the storage account. 
implementing shared access signatures and access policies, implementing Azure AD authentication for storage, managing access keys, implementing Azure storage replication, applying Azure storage account failover. Third, implementing VMs for Windows and Linux. It is divided into six subparts, configuring high availability, configuring storage for VMs, selecting virtual machine size, implementing Azure dedicated hosts, deploying and configuring scale sets, configuring Azure disk encryption. Fourth, automating deployment and configuration of resources. It is divided into six subparts, saving a deployment as an Azure resource manager template, modifying Azure resource manager template, evaluating the location of new, configuring a virtual disk template, deploying from a template, managing a template library, creating and executing an automation runbook. Fifth, implementing virtual networking. It is divided into two subparts, applying net to net connections, implementing net peering. Sixth, implementing Azure Active Directory, adding custom domains, configuring Azure AD identity protection, implementing self-service password reset, implementing conditional access including MFA, configuring user accounts for MFA and fraud alerts, configuring bypass options, trusted IPs, and verification methods, implementing and managing guest accounts, managing multiple directories. Seventh, implementing and managing hybrid identities, installing and configuring Azure AD Connect, identifying synchronization options, configuring and managing password sync and password writeback, configuring single sign-on, using Azure AD Connect Health. Now, Domain 2, Implement Management and Security Solutions. It can be understood in four parts. First, Managing Workloads in Azure. This is divided into four parts. Number 1, Migrating Workloads using Azure Migrate. It is further divided in four parts. Assessing Infrastructure. Selecting the Migration Method. Preparing the On-Premises for Migration. Recommending Target Infrastructure. Number 2, Implementing Azure Backup for VMs. Number 3, Applying Disaster Recovery. Number 4, Implementing Azure Update Management. Now, second, Implementing Load Balancing and Network Security. It is divided into seven parts. Applying Azure Load Balancer. Implementing an Application Gateway. Applying a Web Application Firewall. Implementing Azure Firewall. Implementing the Azure Front Door Service. Apply Azure Traffic Manager. Implementing Network Security Groups, Application Security Groups, and Bastion. Third, implementing and managing Azure Governance Solutions. Creating and managing hierarchical structure that contains management groups, subscriptions, and resource groups assigning RBAC roles. Creating a custom RBAC role. Configuring access to Azure resources by assigning roles. Configuring management access to Azure. Interpreting effective permissions. Setting up and performing an access review. Implementing and configuring an Azure policy. Implementing and configuring an Azure blueprint. Fourth, managing security for applications. Implementing and configuring Key Vault. Implementing and configuring Azure AD managed identities. Registering and managing applications in Azure AD. Domain 3, implement solutions for apps. It can better be understood in two parts. First, 3.1 Implementing an Application Infrastructure. It is divided into eight parts. Creating and configuring Azure App. Creating an App Service Web App. Designing and configuring an App Service. Configuring an App Service. Configuring networking for an App Service. Creating and managing deployment slots. Implementing Logic Apps. Implementing Azure Functions. Second, implement container-based applications. It is divided into four sub-parts. Creating a container image. Configuring Azure Kubernetes Service. Publishing and automating image deployment to the Azure Container Registry. Publishing a solution on an Azure Container Instance. Domain 4, Implement and Manage Data Platforms. It has two parts. First, Implementing NoSQL Databases. It is divided into three sub-parts. Configuring Storage Account Tables. Selecting appropriate Cosmos DB APIs. Setting up replicas in Cosmos DB. Second, Implementing Azure SQL Databases. It is divided into four sub-parts. Configuring Azure SQL Database Settings. Implementing Azure SQL Database Managed Instances. Configuring Hoffer and Azure SQL Database. Publishing an Azure SQL Database. Now, we will discuss about exam policies. 1. 
Microsoft provides exam policies to help the candidates to plan and manage a positive outcome. 2. Candidates access to all the exam-related details, accompanying the before and after exam procedures. 3. These exam policies are the inclusion of certain rules that need to be followed during the exam time or at testing centers. 4. It also includes exam retake policy. Preparation Guide for Microsoft AZ-303 Exam First, Microsoft Learning Platform Second, Microsoft Documentation Third, Instructor-led Training Fourth, Online Study Groups Fifth, Practice Tests For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.